All right, hello everybody out there in TV land, computer land, video land, whatever you want to call it, the World Wide Web. This is my O3 Intrepid. I'm going to be putting these little bad boys in. I got these off of uh, eBay, uh, the EFX, 5 volt purple, uh, four piece kit. Uh, come with a resistor already built inside, everything, uh, pretty nice little clean, little set up there. I have images of the uh, packaging and everything, so I'll put those up later. But let's get to the beefy stuff. Because I like everything nice and clean, I uh, decided to damn near tear the inside of my car apart to uh, mount everything all nice and clean and hidden away so that, uh, you know, nobody's uh, going to get wise and, you know, the cops aren't going to try and get me for anything. Because I'm not too sure exactly what the law is up here, so. Uh, but because uh, I'm running these, I got four LEDs and I'm running them all in parallel. Um, they're five volt lights each. And if I understand the method correctly, um, I will draw less power using a straight uh, 12 volt setup rather than five by five by five by five using 20 volts, uh, you know, five for each light whenever you're running them in a series. If I run them parallel, I only need 12 volts and just, you know, ground each light out and just run them all in a big, uh, big parallel circuit. So I went ahead and mounted the switch yesterday. That's how that looks. Run the wires down inside the console. So you got everything all nice and clean there. Nice and uh, compressed. Uh, loop connectors onto the switch so nothing's loose or anything like that. Everything's all nice and tight. You know, make sure everything's all nice and solid there. So you don't want to go back in there later on and, you know, mess everything up. So I run them all straight down inside. It was quite the uh, process to get the console apart. That's why I've already had it all apart here and everything like that. Each car is going to be different. So, you know, just figure out what you need for tools and all that kind of jazz. You're just going to need your basic stuff, you know, like your uh, soldering, shrink tube. Uh, I used a drill to mount the LEDs way down inside my uh, console here, down the bottom. I was going to put them over in the uh, B pillar down at the bottom there, but I figured I'd use a lot less wire being closer to the switch and you know all that kind of jazz rather than have one big giant wire running all around the interior car I just figured put them there get the same effect you know it looks pretty badass and uh, because these uh, lights uh, are already taking the uh, pleasure of uh, mounting my self adhesive pads on there they come with uh, two sided foam tape so whenever you pick your desired spot you can just drill your little hole I believe I used a 3 16 drill bit uh, hogged it out just a tiny bit because I just want I want them nice and snug and everything I don't want them to lose uh, be loose or anything like that if I was putting these putting these outside I would uh, silicone around here make sure everything's all nice and watertight but I'm not really too concerned about that and uh, if people are drinking in my car they can take a bus so that's pretty much that everything's all nice and clean I've already been uh, pre-testing everything I uh, have some images that I'm going to be putting up uh, after of the uh, light uh, actually being on um, actually you just want to let's see what we can do here I got a little 9 volt battery because these are 5 volt lights you can use a 9 volt battery and uh, everything will everything will just uh, light up like Christmas here give everything a nice little pre-test you know make sure everything's gonna work so there you go your 9 volt battery just connected on there you know there we go it works you know nice purple cool color we'll see what happens nighttime you can uh, be able to adjust them a little bit you know if you really desire I'm doing this during the daytime it's super nice out today and super cold inside my buddy shop so I don't have a garage or anything so I'm just doing it like this doing a ghetto style so that's that um, these are going to uh, wind up running this uh, these two wires are gonna get grounded probably somewhere along the uh, console uh, restraints down inside there or something I see a nice little bolt back there I can uh, connect it to I'm not going to be all ghetto and uh, run wires all across you know to the seat everything like that I, like I said before I like it all nice and clean and hidden and you know none's the wiser you know so yeah that's how that's going to go <coughs> these two, these uh, this reds not even going to bother being connected to this one I'm going to be uh, using a uh, circular wire going all the way around run them all in parallel and then the last thing I'll do is uh, wire up my switch. Uh, I'm going to be putting another single LED up underneath the dash here. We'll see how that goes. We'll put another one up underneath the dash here on the passenger side. See how that goes. Um, 
the reason I'm doing this, I saw a lot of videos out there that uh, were using multi-pod setups and all kinds of crazy contraptions and some guys were actually really sloppy with their work and stuff like that. So I'm not the greatest talker and all that kind of jazz. I can kind of rattle my head off, but uh, this is what it's going to be. I didn't see one that was exactly for my purpose single LEDs in a parallel series. Everybody talks about parallels and the theory and the premises and you know all that kind of technical crap but I really don't care about that. I just want to see somebody you know laying out some single LEDs and not a freaking bar. So and this is it. This is what I'm doing. Hope you enjoy. I'll be back with more.